Okay, so we are recording. I'm going to mute you guys, but you can unmute yourself if you have questions when you're um, anytime. Oops, did that work? No, Sam's didn't work. How come Sam's didn't mute? Oh, oh. oh thank you. What? <laughs> I guess you're muted. <laughs> I was already muted, so it just switched me. Oh, I see. No. Go back to muting. <laughs> um, so let me share my screen. Can you guys see my screen? Yeah, I got my dream board up. That's my backdrop. And it's also the backdrop or like whatever you call it on my phone. It's the picture because I'm like, I can't stop thinking about these. I made this on, you know, the beginning of January. I cannot stop thinking about my dream board. So um, it's a re constant reminder every day. What the crap? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, slideshow. Cool. Okay, so I wanted to talk about um, getting coaches started right and on the right foot. Um, I know that one of the biggest pieces with this business is duplication and making it easy to duplicate. And like, you know, how do some coaches have coaches that go diamond in no time? How come some coaches never hit diamond? You know, it's all about having duplication for your team. Um, it's also about just putting it out there. I can't make anyone do the activities in the 21 day smart start group. Like I can't. So it's just about us having the tools out there for people and making sure that they, um, uh, can at least say, can't, can't say to us, well, she never told me what to do. That's kind of how I feel that I'm like, I don't want everyone, anyone to quit. I mean, people quit for their own reasons, but I don't want anyone to quit and say it was because, um, I didn't show them the way or they didn't have the tools because we have them and they're so easy and they're easy to find on their own too. Um, so I thought it was super important, especially with all the new coaches we're having on our teams lately. Okay. So we'll do the recognition on just chat on some tools and then the topic and questions and answers. All right. So success club is like blowing my mind this month. You guys are crazy. So Kelly's at 16, Samantha's at 12, Maggie is at 11 and Brooke is at two and Tanya is at two. So it's an amazing, it's amazing. Um, I'm in some, you know, push to elite groups and all sorts of craziness right now. And, um, everyone is like wondering what's going on this month. I think, I don't know what it is. It's actually a, you know, me and my math numbers. So I did a little look at the, today was technically the last day of the month for the pay cycle. So we were only in 22 days in February that were paid towards February and like March has 28 or 29. So that's a huge difference. That's another week. That's a whole nother pay pet pay period and extra time and everything. So I don't know if that has anything to do with, you know, the, um, the way that the months fall also we're missing for the, if you guys, I do my, uh, tracking of my money based on like the calendar, like the month. So it ends today basically. So I did my calendar for the month and entered all my totals. Um, but we're missing like the good days, like, you know, the 29th. I actually don't know what happens this month since we don't have a 30 and 31. I presume that all the shake orders get bumped up to the 29th, but maybe I'll have to ask about that. Does anyone know? No. Um, let me write a note because I'm, I'm on through today. I don't know. That's a good, good question. Katie. Thanks Katie. Um, I know there were some issues with it last year on leap on leap because it was a leap year last year or no, I mean, it wasn't a leap year last year. So there were only 28 days and people were freaking out. Um, but it obviously works because some months have 31 and people order then. So they must figure it out. Yeah. Make sure if you're at success club and if your bag normally ships on the 20, 30th or 31st that you move it up. Mm -hmm. That's the important part also of your bag shipping. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure my trip today. So um, Kelly is at Emerald plus six. She actually just needs the, her two emeralds to pop. She's like three coaches away. So that's pretty cool um, for Diamond. Um, oh, I can't see. Um, Maggie's doing awesome at Emerald plus two. And Tanya's at Emerald plus one. I don't know if I've done this since you've been on the call, Maggie. But it's basically on our way to Diamond. Um, you know, there are really no miles. Yes, Ruby's a milestone between Ru Emerald and Diamond, but it doesn't happen. <laughs> so um, so I kind of like feel like Diamond's such a you know, people make it seem so far away. So I want to talk about your Emerald plus two. So you have your two coaches plus two other coaches. So that makes you have four coaches. Yes. 
And if I have, I'm supposed to be getting a coach tomorrow, mm. would put me on. Is that plus three? Yes, exactly. And I want to talk to you. Let me know, or I'll show you, or maybe we got to, I just got to show you how to do the coach placement because you're, you have three on your left and one on your right. I haven't done anything. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's totally just- fine. For me. Yeah, it's totally fine. So the next one you'll just put on the right. I'll show you how to do that. I just want to make sure that you even out. Um, okay. But you might have had a cycle bonus this week. We can talk about that later, but that'd be pretty sweet. Um, but anywho. Um, so it's just, a, just a, another tracking to get to diamond because the diamond's the next sec for like a pay raise, if you will, because you go from 18, I'm sorry, from $14 pay cycles to $18 pay cycles. And that adds up when you're doing, you know, 50 a month or even 10 a month, <laughs> frankly. Um, okay. So I just want to talk about a couple things that we have going on this month. Um, right now, still, we have the team cup. I know, I don't think anyone's teams are, you know, smoking, but um, we'll have maybe 22 points right now or something like that. Um, it is what it is. I mean, what you going to do? Uh, well, we have learned, we have stumbled and learned and are moving forward. And next team cup, we're all set. <laughs> um, the dollars to diamonds group, I actually, I posted, I don't know if you guys saw it in the diamond group. I posted asking how other people's coaches were doing in it and how they were doing in it. Um, because, well, frankly, I was curious and a little nosy to see what, who was going to get the pot. Um, but a lot of people were struggling and I know I was struggling and I know I talked to Samantha, she, you know, it's, it's a, it's a tough group. I think there's 700 people in it. Like that's wild. Um, so you turn off the notifications because you get too many notifications, but then you miss the post and they weren't pinning it. So I asked Nikki to pin it and she did. Um, but I would love your feedback. I posted it in, um, the rising leaders group. Just, just if you have any, I mean, you know, Nikki even said like lesson learned, whatever. I mean, I think we're getting good information. Um, she asked if we wanted to start another group and I'm like, I don't even know. Is it worth it? But, um, let me know how you feel about that group. And also it's not just pushing to diamond. It's, there are a lot of other factors into it. Um, with, you have to have the six coaches and the two emeralds pop. So, um, if you have questions about that, just let me know. Um, I did put down qualifications for Summit because I want to talk to that to you guys about that, but then I couldn't find the post that I think Katie did. Um, there are a few things for Summit that, you know, are really fun to do. So you can walk the stage at Summit. Um, if you have certain things, you can walk around the stadium, um, the Bridgestone Arena Stadium, which is like a huge place. Uh, it's like walking around like the football field here. So um I don't know anything about sports. I don't even know what it's called here. The Patriots games. Um, <laughs> but um, for, uh, for they're just little things. So for diamond, you get to wear, they have these like lanyards that you wear and it says your rank on it. So it's kind of nice to have like, you know, as high as you can. That's kind of like a big push for it. Um, it's silly, but it's just a little recognition thing. Um, you can walk, I think you walk the stage for two star, for all star legend, for all star, uh, for all stars and legends. Um, there are a few different things. It's basically the middle of May. So, I mean, we have plenty of time. I just had seen the post about it and wanted to talk to you guys about it. Cause that, I mean, I do have a little Ruby in me and that was super important to me. Um, so that's that. Um, and then also about team calls. I feel obviously you guys are all here. So it's, preaching to the choir, but, um, I feel as though the emphasis on team calls has kind of gotten, um, has kind of diminished a little bit. Um, I listen to every single, I'm not like bragging or anything. I listen to every single national wake up call, bombshell call, team positive call. I'm always on live and obviously here. Um, those are all my calls. Um, the bombshells I listen to recorded cause it's like the same thing. It's just a link and I, I can't do it at noon. Um, so I listen at like one or two. Um, but I feel like the, the emphasis to be on them live has kind of gotten away, especially in team positive because they're so big, they do cap out, but it's, it's amazing the information that you get when you're like, like right now, if you guys were on Facebook, um, I could tell, or if you were, um, you know, doing your laundry, whatever it is, I can see you and you know, you're not, you're not going to be like all over the place, but if no one's watching you, you're like, Oh, I'm paying attention. Like, you know, it's not quite the same if you're not live. Um, you can ask questions and I just feel like you get a lot more out of it and it obviously helps with the bonding. So, um, 
like, oopsies, last night's team call, I'm sorry, Tuesday night's team posititude call was so amazing. And the fire that it lit was just like surreal. And everyone, the chat was going like with people. And I was just like blown away by it. And I didn't see who was on um, for you guys. But um, I just highly recommend getting on as many calls as you can. It counts for your towards your personal development. Um, and it's just a great way to learn and, and experience new things. And last night wasn't even like a learning thing. It wasn't like stuff we didn't, I mean, granted really is anything stuff we don't know. It was just a really motivational call. So, um, that's all for that. So I kind of wanted to get to talk about how, um, I get my coaches started and, um, my expectations and all this and kind of where I push and where I stop. So the first thing I do when they get signed up um, is send them the welcome email. Um, I'll post it in the group in our team page if it's not already there. Um, obviously, you guys all got it, but well, I don't know if Sam got it, but <laughs> um, but I have actually changed it a lot since I since Brooke, you got yours because obviously the people that are awesome will do all the steps and read it. And it was so many steps and so many videos and a ton of stuff. Um, and I feel like maybe that's set, maybe I'm setting the bar too low, but a lot of people got lost and stopped doing it. And, um, I kind of felt like it set people up for me to check on them for their assignments. You know what I mean? Like, um, like they would send me the, that seven day, track or whatever it is. I'm like, you do it. Like, that's not how this thing works. So I changed it. And I made the most important things to me, um, in the email. So I put my jump, the gem test, um, because that's super important to me. Um, and a couple other things. And I'm actually working on, well, I'm working with Samantha to have, I'll ask you guys to do it uh, another time, but to get everyone to do like a 30 second to a minute video. So we have our own welcome email for team fly. I mean our own welcome video so we can put in and Sam has a Mac so she can do it all the fancy stuff. But, um, you know, I used to send Nikki's and I don't send that anymore. I mean, I think I'm in it, but I, you know, no one else is. If someone watched the video that I was sponsoring, it would be kind of weird. I feel like, um, so I'll send you what you, what I send to them. It's pretty simple. Um, and basic, but it gives the, the first few steps that they'll need. Um, the next thing I do is I add them to the team pages. Um, so if I have a personally sponsored coach, I'll add them to, okay, let me rephrase that. Depending on their, like, which they choose, if they're a business builder, if they're a discount coach, if they're a wait and see coach, you know, it'll kind of depend what I feel like they need. I'm not going to put a discount coach or a wait and see coach in team positive. It's too big. It's too wild. Um, it's, it's for beginners. And I think there, I think it's just a little cray cray in there sometimes. Um, but I will always obviously add them to the team fly page. I also add them to my PS coaches page. Um, that's just for me to keep track of people. And then I also add them to my group The I think I actually just changed the name Katie's fit club or something, you know, my, where all my challengers go, um, to live because if for some reason they quit coaching, they're still in the challenge groups and stuff like that, that, that doesn't bother me. Or like, um, you know, if they're not into the coaching aspect as much, you know, some people don't. So, um, I like to add them to that group. So, so that, so that they're always around. Um, and then I always do the welcome post. Uh, someone told me that they ask their coaches if they want to do a welcome post. And I'm like, no, that's not, I'm not asking anyone. I'm doing it. I don't even tell them I'm doing it. Um, they want to feel like excited. I don't do it for my discount coaches, but did you have a question? Maggie? Yeah. <clears throat> what if people are uncomfortable with it? <laughs> how, how so? Like, did you tell them about it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well then that's why I don't tell them about it because they're going to say no, because they think it's awkward. It is. Exactly. But that's a great way to break your shell. I also think people like if you ask them, Oh, do you want to be recognized? No, not, no, that, that doesn't make me feel comfortable because uh, maybe a little part of them doesn't want to say, yeah, hell yeah. I want to be recognized. You know, people are a little humble too mm -hmm. or uncomfortable. And you know, this opportunity is about breaking out of your shell a little bit. What if people aren't ready for like what the, um, the consequences of like that public 
that like public spotlight? What if they're not ready for, um, you know, the consequences of that for people to be then coming at, like, what if they're not ready to be a coach? Like, the, oh, I don't, yeah, I don't do it for my discount coaches. I only, but even if they're like, they're just not, then they're not a business builder. <laughs> like their feet aren't wet enough yet, if you will. Or they're um, not enough. Well, I mean, I honestly don't ask, I don't talk to them about it. I don't tell them I'm, Hey, I'm going to do a post about you. Gotcha. So I've never had that happen. <laughs> like you just sort of weed out by conversations with your coaches, like who is strictly just doing it for the discount. And then the people who, cause like you, I, everybody to me kind of starts off as a disc, like all of mine are all discount coaches, but some of them I, I know are, you know, they've, they've expressed they want to be a discount coach for a little bit, but then they want to, um, they want to build the business, but they're just not there yet. So even if those people, even if they're starting as discount coaches, mm -hmm. but you do, is my making sense? Like, yeah, you know, yeah. go somewhere, do you still wait or do you, do you do the post from the beginning? Um, well, I guess it totally depends. I don't add my discount coaches to my team page. Um, but I've never had that happen really. Like I've never had a coach go from discount to running the business. So per for me personally, I don't know. Um, but whatever, it's one post, they can delete it if they don't like it or just don't, or if you feel like they're not comfortable, don't do it, but don't take away that opportunity for them to get publicity and feel confident in themselves. Like everyone loves a shout out. I mean, I loved it when Nikki did mine. I love being called out for my, you know, recognition post. And I wouldn't want someone to take that away from me because obviously I would never post it for myself. I would never be like, whoop, whoop, one star. Or I wouldn't at like, you know, back in the day when I started, like, you know what I mean? Um, because they don't have the confidence. So you, you can definitely just feel it out and do it per person, but I mean, I, I don't have a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, but you will. <laughs> okay, um, thank you. So. Yeah, that's what I would say. I would say, you know, definitely feel it out. I don't do it for my discount coaches, but my, but my other ones I do. And I post it, obviously, in our team page. Um, even if you just want to do it, if it's, especially if it's someone that's like, you know, you're feeling that way about, you can do it in just the team page and not on their personal page. Um, but also another reason I like to do it is because it makes me look good. Yeah. Um, I, know. I don't know if that's a good thing to say or not, but it, it shows the world that I'm growing my team and I'm growing it fast, right. um, which people want to see someone that is successful and growing and strong and all that. Of course. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, but, but there's no like cookie cutter for any of it. Yeah. Right? Um, so, oh, one of the other things in my welcome email is about the getting started right call. So I want them to schedule a getting right call with me. I try, and this is not easy, but I try really hard not to push them. Obviously I want them to do a getting started right call like today and yesterday, but people are at their own pace. So I put it in their hands. When you're ready, you let me know. Here's my, I use the Calendify or whatever it's called, you know, that you guys all schedule the one-on-ones with. Um, I send that in my I don't know what it's called. I know it gets me every time. Um, I, I put that in my welcome email or my, when I'm talking to them or whatever, this is how you do it because it's their responsibility. And I feel, I just feel like from being burned and from learning lessons that if you set people up to hold their hand the whole time, they won't let go. And when they do let go, they'll fall and they won't get back up. So, um, you know, I schedule their, you know, I have them schedule their GSR call with me. I let them know, like, if something on that list isn't available, just let me know when that is. Um, I do check back in if they haven't scheduled one within like a week. I'm like, Hey, GSR, anybody? Um, but also don't hesitate to ask me to be on your GSR calls, especially at the beginning. I know I've done one with, you know, everyone. Um, I, all I talk about is the three, three vital behaviors and their why. Um, for me, that's, that's what I find works and isn't too much and, um, just really gets them set up. So, um, let's see, then I enter them into that new coach training. I don't know if you guys have been in there. It's pinned to the top of our team page right now. Frankly, I love it. I think it's great because it took me a lot of time to put together, but it's the basics of like everything. So if you have a question, I guarantee you it's in that group. Um, especially at the beginning, like what is rank advancement? What is left leg, right leg? What is, when are the team calls? Um, 
I don't know, all sorts of stuff like that. So, um, just, you know, I would just say, Hey, I'm adding you to this group, go at your own pace. There are nine steps. It can take like a day to look through them all, but a couple days, you know, let me know when you're done ah, for this is what I do personally when they're done let them know and they can join the 21 day group. Now what we're doing with the diamonds is uh, on team positive is everyone is running one of these 21 day smart starts starting the first and the 15th or, or about that every two weeks. Um, so I think I'll probably do a side one. It's just so hard because no one really sticks around and I, and I'm not, you know, basically going to do it with no one commenting. It's not worth anyone's time. That's kind of why I created the, the little, um, new coach training group, just so that people can do it at their own time. I don't know, you know, maybe even in, you know, Nikki's groups and she has six, you know, a thousand coaches under her. Um, she wasn't getting comments and posts and it felt like a waste of time for her, but obviously there are, you know, even if they get one or two posts, it's a good thing. So I'm definitely torn about that, but I'll, I'll enter them into one of those. Um, I can repost the the dates that they start, but it's like the f every other Monday, basically. Um, and if you're feeling like you need a refresher, you can join it again. It's always in team positive also. Okay. Now, if they finish the 21 day smart start, which I don't really know how many people have honestly finished all 21 days, <laughs> um, on, on our team or anything I did because it was when Nikki was just getting started and it was, I don't know. I loved it. We had a great group. It was really small. She made us do the exercises. So maybe that's something, she, but she said like, if you don't do it, I'm kicking you out, but there were only 10 of us in it. Um, so, but you know, with us, like if we have one, two, three people in it, we're going to be like, kick you out and everyone's gone. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. It, it's how I got started. It's how I learned everything that I need to know. Um, and it's how I met my success partners and my girlfriends. Um, and then enter a push down world group. Um, I have a calendar. I should post it. Um, I'll post a calendar for you guys for March of what I'm doing um, for those few things. So for the new coach smart start and for a push to Emerald group and a what is coaching group, I have all sorts of groups that I'm trying to, you know, pull it together here, Katie, for. So um, sorry, I just want to write this down. Post calendar. I, I would like to help you with the what is coaching group. Oh, good. I Thank have a lot know. of videos on my YouTube page that I've used for my ones. I think I shared them with Brooke once, maybe. Okay. I can't yeah, remember. that would be lovely. Yeah, and anyone ever wants to do a, run a group or head start it, that is super helpful. <laughs> um, a push to Emerald group. I was talking to the girls about this. I mean, in some regards, I don't know who was in the last one that we did. Um, me and I think Jenny and Nikki and Sandy or whatever. Um, we had a few, we had quite a few emeralds pop from it. Part of me wanted to be like, all you need the best, if you're here to run this business, the best thing you need to do to get to emerald is, you know, your mom and your husband or something like that. But obviously that's not how it works. So, um, it is a great training. It's just a matter, you know, just something different. All right. The most important thing for new coaches is to meet them in the middle go at their pace and do not want it more for them than they do for themselves. I swear this is like the hardest thing. There are people that you're depending on to hold your rank. There are people that you know could have huge success with this if they just tried. There are people that you see and you're like, you have so much potential and you're so strong and, and sometimes it doesn't happen. I mean, uh, there's also the opposite, like, you know, discount coaches that go crazy. So just make sure that you're not wasting your energy. Obviously give as much attention as you can, but if you find that you're always there for people and they're not showing up and they're not following through and they're not doing their PD and they're not posting and they're not doing the things that you you know, is required, it's a waste of your time and move on. And that's so hard. And maybe it's because I've been doing it for so long that I like, know that more and more you just you just know when someone's on their way out and it sucks and this business is not for everyone and it's not easy and um I feel like that's like a negative thing but you got to be honest and your time is wicked valuable instead of focusing all that energy and time onto someone who isn't going to be in it and doesn't want it go find someone who does you know be be the best businesswoman that you can be and and spend your time wisely.
um, just really hard mentally. So read your PB because that's really hard to do. <laughs> like, I don't know, at least for me, it's really hard to, when you know someone is, is either signs up and you know, everyone's like, I'm so excited. I'm going to, I'm going to make a million bucks and I can't wait to make, you know, pay off my student loans. And then you're like, Oh, 10 minutes. Hello. Hello. Uh, Mike, anyone? Is anyone there? No. Okay. Now you're, Oh, you just unfriended me. Okay. Um, so literally like that happened to me. <laughs> Um, I've had emeralds drop there. Like I've had emeralds quit. Um, there have been diamonds that have straight up quit. It's hard. I try to also talk to people about that when they're getting started. I don't make this sound easy. Um, I mean, it sounds fun and exciting and awesome and amazing because it is, but and I tell people we're here to support them and stuff, but I don't want to be like, oh yeah, I work an hour a day and I'm making, you know, blah, blah, blah money. And it's so sick and people just flock to me. That's not how it is. So, you know, uh, be honest with people. <clears throat> That's all I have. <laughs> um, so I, sorry, I wanted to make sure that was all the slides. Um, I just want you guys when you're recruiting coaches to see the potential in people because they have it. But on the same hand, know that this business is unlike any other. You don't have a boss. You don't have like work schedule hours. You don't have any of that. And I, I would never say like, I don't care about someone, but I want the best for people. I want people to be happy. So I don't care if they choose to go a different route and don't take this on fully. Um, because I want people to be happy. This does not make everyone happy. We work long hours and we work hard and we bust ass and we cry and we sweat and we bleed. So it's not easy. I want people to want it and to try really hard. Um, but if you guys think of anything for your new coaches that you're doing, um, don't, don't hesitate to ask me for help or, you know, tell them, tell me what you guys need. I can't, you know, read everyone's mind. So, um, I think that's all I have for new coaches, but oh hey oh. <laughs> um, but you guys have been um, you know, new coaches under me, so you know what things are and how I roll, and I I hope that's how I am. But um if you think of anything, does anyone have any anything on that? <laughs> no. That was good, thank you. I always, well, it's been a while since I've signed up a new coach until recently. So this was very, very good timing for me. I really, I need to be better about being organized when I sign someone up because I forget, like, I know every, I know everything I know. And so I forget, like, when I'm talking to someone that they don't know everything. And like, even when you were saying, like, in that group, the, the new coach training, how it says, you know, what's an issue in right leg and left leg? A new coach doesn't know that they have legs. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, like they don't even know that stuff. So I think um, I had an idea and I wanted to run it by you guys. So I just had three potential business builders sign up last week. Um, and so I do my team calls on Tuesday nights and they've been lame um, from my team's perspective. But I want to really kind of invigorate with my new blood. And so I was thinking this, this week, kind of turning it into a group GSR, I'm going to do individual calls with the, the people, but kind of like a group, oh, yeah. um, this is what we do. And then the next three weeks, focus on the three vital behaviors um, and kind of have to be, I'm going to call it like um, Team Happiness Advantage Academy. Um, and if any of you guys want to join or have new coaches that you want to put, put in it, I haven't um, made up everything yet, but... I was just thinking, like, I, I, I know, I remember one of my, one coach said to me at one point, like, they were so afraid not to post in a challenge group because they thought they had to. And then, like, someone recently told me, like, I, 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 was, I was so glad you had saved a spot for me in your challenge group. I was so afraid I wasn't going to get in in time. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, that's, there's always room. And, like, I think it's just the perception you put out there. Like if I, if I put out there that this is important and this is what we're doing, and this is the expectation, um, those that will meet the bar will meet the bar. But if you don't even put a bar out there, 
you know, what, what am I doing for those people? So that was my idea. I was I brainstorming did. last night That's about all my new coaches and freaking <laughs> yeah I, group gsrs are the best boom 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 yeah <laughs> come on in on that sam yeah yeah hook a sister up okay. yeah um i posted it in the rising leaders group that video um a couple weeks ago it was like 15 minutes i, I forget who did it but they basically said the people who are going to rise are going to rise no matter where you set the bar they will rise to the highest bar if you lower it to meet the people that are lower, they're still not going to hit it. And you're just going to disappoint the people that are higher. So raise the bar as high as you have it for yourself. And everyone that's going to meet the bar, no matter where it is, will still need it. So. I like that. Yeah. I mean, you're not, you're just going to do a disservice to the others. So that's all. Um, anyone have anything else? I have a question. Yeah. So um, we cannot get <laughs> success club points off someone we've already gotten success club points off before, even if it was a long time ago. And right? You can ask for a different email address. What's that? You can just ask for a different email address. Just be like, oh, it's not going through. Do you have another email I can address I can send it through? <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, Cause like you can't send a coach mobile app again. So yeah, just, or if it's someone, you know, just ask them to do that. Okay. But yeah, not so much. They used to, it used to be a calendar year, but now for some reason they took away that glitch in the system and it used to be a glitch. Like, so you'd still get more points. Like, or like you could get some more points somehow, you know, sometimes, but I don't know. I'm, I'm stressed into you on my, right. Success club points this month. So I'm like yeah. brainstorming. <laughs> if someone had canceled their HD and they were going to order it again, there's, uh, you know, no shame in my game. I'd, I've asked people like, hey, I was helping Katie with some messages, a message the other day. And I was like, hey, girl, I really appreciate that you're helping me out by giving me this new email address because I have been pushing for this goal and it would really help me out. A lot of people like to help other people, makes them feel good. If they were going to do it anyway, what's the difference? What do you, most people have more than one and they'd be happy to give it to you. And especially like if they, if you yes, don't tell them why you need that second email address, they might not feel like, like, oh no, I'll just use the other original one. If they don't know there's a reason for you to help you. Okay. And I know you'll hit you success club, Brooke. I know you've got this. Oh, I think I just hit. I think I just hit. Not, not all. She just said she, yay. I just signed up for an auto ship membership and provided my credit card. Oh, it didn't allow. Aww. Oh, I have a question. Yeah, Maggie, go ahead. I have a question because, well, I, I totally forgot. So have any of you experienced um, you using the Coach Mobile app and, and it not going through to somebody? That's Yes. Um, what, what you do when you, um, you log into the, it, it's finicky sometimes log in. Oh, we're going to, we might get cut off. Um, you can resend the enrollment, but I have had that happen. Um, so you, you open the person, like you go in, like you're checking on them to check their status. Oh, coach mobile apps down right now. Um, I, mean, I, order, I just had an order go through within the past 10 minutes. Okay. Well, I sent it the other day. Yeah. I did it like a few hours ago, but she hasn't gotten her email. Oh, yeah. It's 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 they're busy it's making improvements? Are you kidding me? Yeah, this is, I get an error message when I log into the Coach Mobile app. Shit. How can I talk to this girl? Okay, we have one minute. Oh, no. When? Well, at least I have one. Positive. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> hey positivity people you are all going to hit success club and it's going to be awesome yes. and the, the they're not stressing about getting it done tonight or tomorrow morning the website will work and their orders will go through and the new email address will work Brooke and it's all going to work and I know it I know it you guys have this yes, Brooke and I we've got this it's already you're already at five yes thanks thank you we need that I need that I should say <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, I don't want to get cut off, guys. Um, message me if you need help with anything, or put them in the group if you have more bottles that you have questions with, okay? Thanks. Brooke, I can't wait to see you in July. <laughs> I know, I can't wait. I know. I can't wait. Yes. Yeah. Katie, I can't wait to see you in July. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's true. <laughs> Oh my God, you're crazy. <laughs>